compressor first. It's got no air in it. Neither does our compressor. That's why it's so loud. Because it's filling itself up with air. But once it has air, then we put air in here. And then the air is going to leak out of here. And then we're going to find it, like we already have. Put a plug in it. And then hopefully no more air leaks. Okay, so step one. Put air in your tire. So you don't lose your valve cap. I always like to chew on it while I'm working. We don't have enough air yet. Back to the actual step one. Let the compressor fill up with air. We have air in our tire. Figured out the compressor. And that was a mess. But we got it figured out. See, the thing about them is they have a drain tube on the bottom that lets all the air out of the tank. And the tank can't fill up with air if you're letting it all out through the drain tube. So you gotta close that. It'll fill up with air. Then you can fill your tire up. And then you can plug your tire up. Now, it must not be a big hole, cause right off the bat, I'm not hearing anything. And neither are you guys. Now we gotta bust out the water bottle with soap. Now, the thing is, is we already know there's a leak because it don't hold air. <laughs> now, and then these bubbles start getting bigger, that's where our air's coming from. Chunky bottle. Can't have nothing. This is what you call exciting. What are we gonna do if we don't find the hole? We're gonna find the hole, Willie. Hey, we found the hole. <laughs> we'll plug it. I got a drill. I'm not above it. Think I ain't done that before? Why are my tires leaky? <laughs> Lady, you come in here once a week. There ain't a leak in your tire. I got a hammer and a nail. I'll put it in If you come to me with problems, that's fine. You come with me causing issues, not fine. I'll give you a problem. You were to give me issues, all right? I'll fix your problem. If you keep just giving me issues, I'll make a problem, then fix it, and make you think I fixed the actual problem. And that's how mechanic can goes, and that's what it is. We're gonna have to rotate. There's not a leak on this side. Look, one, two, we had one on the other side. We already got three plugs. The bottle, every time you gotta reach under here and undo the trigger, that's pretty neat. And it's really good for progress. I feel like the pressure's on me, but I feel like we're doing bad as a unit. <laughs> no, the pressure's not on you. Oh, I'm seeing some more bubbles. Where? Right there. Oh, our previous plug. Fricked. <laughs> yeah, get, his, get an action <laughs> shot, action. Donnie. Get the action! Oh, yeah. So we gotta, we gotta redo it. We got a faulty plug. We got a bad plug. A bad egg, if you will. I just ain't no good. Bro, I think it's coming from there. Yeah, but what if there's more? Well, as slow as it's leaking, I don't think there is. I think you're right. What's that there? Is that building bubbles? Sure does. It is. It sure is. You want to see it do it again? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Man, maybe I fixed it. What kind of idiot put that plug into where it'd leak again? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not even close. It's slippery from the soap. It sure is. Oh, I thought you had it that time. Oh, oh man. We're getting there. You know what we're going to do, though? We're just going to push it on through. But it'll be in there. Yeah, but this thing doesn't, we don't ever drive fast in this thing. Now, who got that one all muddy? We should have filmed this dove hunting the other day. We should have. You wouldn't have got to do as much shooting. Yeah, but I would have shot just as much. I would put a GoPro on my barrel so everybody could have saw how good I shot. Don't they make cameras for that? They got little cameras. They do. I don't know why I said that in question form. I don't know. They got cameras that like even got little crosshairs in them to show where you're shooting. Tell them how good I shot. Donnie, you shot pretty good, not gonna lie. Oh yeah. You limited it out before I did. That's all I got to say about that. Psych, uh, you also shot one and caught it, which is pretty cool. Willie shot a little less as good as you. You didn't see that. Nobody seen that. <laughs> <laughs> now what we have is a big hole. So what we might do is take us two of these. Is that true? Is that? Plug. This is plug chew tobacco. A lot of people don't know you can just use plug chew tobacco as a plug. They are flying through the neighborhood. Rouse me up. I, th I told Willie he should do more things like ranch chips with coal. And he come up with this? <laughs> yeah. There's not really, I don't know, mechanic tips with Kevin. If there's one thing I've learned from mechanicing is don't trust mechanics. They'll do stuff like just push a plug on through and have it rolling around inside your tire. We're gonna hit this Johnny with the double wombo though once we get her in here. Johnny, you're a seasoned mechanic. What have you learned from being a mechanic? Don't work on your own, well no, work on your own stuff if you can, because it saves you money. Unless you don't know what the problem is, then you might spend a bunch of money on something that's not the problem. That is very true. But it's a gamble. It's a gamble. If you're gonna own a 6.0, you gotta be a mechanic. That's very true. Say it like, like you're cold giving ranch tips. If you're gonna be a, if you're gonna own a 6.0, you better be a mechanic. Any typical day of ranching, 
you're eventually going to come across a stretch of fence that needs fixed. And if you're a good cowboy, you're going to be prepared to fix that fence. But I'll show you a little trick I learned from up north. Won't get you hired, but it'll keep you busy. Tune in next week for more ranching tips. Mechanic tips with Kevin. If you're going to drive your can am through the mesquite trees, you better own tire plugs. Mechanic tips with Kevin. Hold on. If you're going to drive your can am through the mesquite trees, you better own a tire plug kit. That's mechanic tips with Kevin. That was good. How does Cole, what's his voice like? I don't know. Sometimes right. I think he has a lisp. But I don't know if that's like if he just is doing that. When he's giving his tip videos, though, voice is kind of deep, kind of like you're gonna ranch all day. You better wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> this has been ranch tips with Cole. Sometimes you gotta double up when you got a big hole. I couldn't fit that, so we're gonna one and a half these it. To make your life easy when you're plugging a tire, put so much air in it, you think the tire's about to pop off of the wheel and blow your head off. For some reason, all that air trying to get out of there makes it easy for you to get a plug in there. This is the part I hate, being a 145 pound little boy and all. Always gotta double check your work. Half the time it's wrong. Is that another hole? See it making any new bubbles, Don? I don't. I don't what, either. What's that down there? That'd be another hole in the making. Oh yeah. Oh, sure is. Yeah, out of it. Be honest, if we started fixing holes like that, this tire would just be made of plugs. You don't think we should fix it? In theory, plugging a, a, the leak in your tire sounds great, but when they're dry rotted and you start, we're gonna run out of plugs. We're gonna buy Jerry out of plugs. We went through this the other day on the third gen. Sometimes, and it's a no-no. I mean, if you brought me a tire full of this stuff when I was working at a shop, I hated you and you were a dumb idiot. But hey, every now and again, you gotta fill the tire up with slime. All them little pinhole leaks and on the sidewalls, I mean, what are you gonna do? There's enough plugs in the world. I don't think those are gonna leak fast enough for the course of action to be slime. I think our booger here was our one bad plug. And now that we've shoved more than one plug in there, it ought to have her pretty stopped up. What about that other hole that Donnie found? This one right here? Yeah. <sighs> Always chew on your valve stem cap. Then you always remember to put it back and you will never lose it. 